Happy Sunshine family, welcome back to the Lunacy Channel. We've got another update on the Waging War with Weather series, Hurricanes Irma and Jose. So let's head on over to the Truth Channel on YouTube, and this woman is doing fantastic work, guys. She's working from solid observations and showing how these storms are materializing in place just off the coast of where they are purportedly forecast to hit. So I'm going to let this play and then I'm going to switch over to the live and telecast feed here and we'll be able to watch the updated videos. And my computer froze. Ha! <laughs> Why did it freeze? There we go. All right. Hey guys, it's 1.04 p.m. on September 18th, 2017. And I am seeing this storm brew just as I suspected it would off the coast of North Carolina and Virginia. And I want you to pay close attention here, guys. This storm was not on radar yesterday. It is getting worse today, and I am almost certain that this is going to be the storm that becomes Hurricane Jose. I've been tracking it for the last week and a half that there is this NASA cartoon that's showing us nonsense, and that we haven't had a hurricane or anything even close to a hurricane in this particular area. I'm gonna show you yesterday's video in the morning there where I expressed the concern that this was going to grow into a hurricane. Watch this for a second here. And they're just persistent, continually regenerating blips on this radar that I'm afraid are going to turn into what we saw down over Cuba when the clouds like this just started forming into this crazy Nexrad star-shaped thing that just started rolling into California or Florida and everybody said, oh, look, there's Hurricane Irma, but it hadn't been in the... So I'm, I'm afraid that that's what's happening here. We see that the cloud formation is taking hold here off the East Coast, right outside of North Carolina and Virginia, and I'm going to be tracking it for the next several hours, and I'm quite certain that we're going to see something that shows a hurricane formation here shortly. And let me just superimpose the NASA cartoon over this so you can see the difference between what is actually showing up on the ground-based measurements, which are tracked by the airports and so forth that fly our airplanes on radar, versus the cartoon from outer space. Okay? So this white thing is just a picture that comes from NASA. It's literally a cartoon, and you can put it on any one of your radar images, but it doesn't make it real. This is the real measurable weather. And as I'm telling you, I am very concerned that this is going to turn into something that looks like a hurricane real quick here. Because over the last 12, 14 hours, it's really taking shape, and I'm afraid it's going to start spinning around. Now let me show you. Down here we've got this Hurricane Maria that is supposed to be pummeling these islands down here. These places too, Barbados, St. Lucia, Guadalupe, all these islands where this supposed hurricane is pummeling We'll look down here. See down here we see Barbados, St. Lucia, Guadalupe. All these islands are supposed to be getting nailed right now by a hurricane. Well, let's take a peek at what their airports are reporting as far as wind land speeds. This is going to be Barbados here. Barbados is reporting wind speeds of 26 miles an hour as of 12 p.m. That was an hour ago. Let's go to St. Vincent here. St. Vincent is reporting land speeds, wind speeds of 13 miles an hour and light rain. There is no hurricane here, people. Not yet. It's just not here. It's, it's not been Vieux Fort St. Lucia. The wind speed's 30 miles an hour. This is exactly what we saw with Irma. Six days of nonsense reporting of obscure little islands. And now I'm re reading the wind speeds of these places. And this hurricane is not here. It's just not here. If it were here, it would be registered at the airports. This is a cartoon. What they're actually doing is creating these storms just off the coast within just a few days of them actually deciding to take aim. It's like they're loading the gun right now. 
And uh, that's why I'm, I'm concerned and I'm making these videos to document the actual radar images that we're seeing as we're seeing this gun being loaded. This storm does not exist. It is being created as we speak. So I'm going to be keeping track of it and uh, keep you posted. Okay, I think she's doing fantastic work there, guys. She's always working from observations that you can go and verify yourself. You know, I've got, I've got a lot of questions about Hurricane Jose and Hurricane Irma that both appear to be forming just off of shore of where they are forecast to hit. And we saw that my father used to work on Project Forecast 2 for the United States Air Force. Before that, he worked with DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. He's above top secret and above Q clearance. He is obviously in a position to know something about what's going on and possibly might be able to explain how it is that six days ago on September 12th the emergency aid to American survivors of hurricanes Irma and Jose Overseas Act was passed into law. Both of these storms have suspicious origins guys. We are finding evidence that contradicts the story that we have been given. That's what this channel is all about. I just have a really heavy heart making observations that my father may at least know something about this, if not had a hand in, in bringing it about. I'm sure with Top Secret Plus and Q Plus clearances, I'm sure he signed uh, non-disclosure agreements. But I am making this video so that Harry Windsor knows that, hey, people are suffering because of your silence. There's a lot of people out there that believe that this hurricane formed out in the ocean and was on track for the East Coast. They don't realize that it's the shadow government or some forces therein that are manufacturing this storm just off of the coast. If you have these same questions too of my father, please send him an email to darpadad at protonmail.com. I'm going to let these emails build up until the end of the month, and then I'm going to send them as one big batch. And then after that, I'll just send them as they come. Well, I really want to thank everybody who's sent me love, light, and links, and sent DARPA Dad emails. This is a very non-standard journey that I've had in life and there's really no precedent that I've found for uh, finding who you are uh, among family members uh, that you make these observations of. So thank you very much for all the love, light, and links. If you've got any for me, Send them to lunacy, L-U-N-A-S-E-E, -E, at protonmail.com. I'll be back really soon with another video. I feel like reading a little bit more of the detention hearing transcript. All right, peace out, guys. We'll see you soon.